Hi guys, so I've got another makeup look for you today. Um, this one's a bit more of a Coachella style um, look. Just wanted to keep it sort of quite, you can wear it for an occasion but it's like with a little bit of pop of colour and you can always just add to it. You can add a little bit of glitter here and there um, and the white accents. So stay tuned and you'll find out how I did this and hope you like it. So first of all, I've already taken any residue of makeup off. I used, um, I actually, it was my birthday last month and I got a Birch Box subscription from my sister, which was very nice of her. But in one of them, not sure which one, um, there was this um, gentle makeup eye remover from Marcel. See that? Um, and it's really nice. Um, I've done it sort of, I've had a lot of makeup on really dark eyes. And then it just comes straight off. So again, I don't know if it was in the same box or not, but there's this balance me instantly primer it's on a little tiny thing. Um but I'm gonna give that a go today. Put that on the season. I'm just gonna use my finger to rub it in. So for my concealer, I'm just using the NARS Radi Radiant Cream Concealer um, in Chantilly. A lot of people do eyebrow first, but I don't know, I've just never done it first, so I'm not really like in the hand of doing it. I'm not really sure why. I'm just going to blend that in. Ugh, that's a bit boring. Don't get your boyfriend to wet your beauty blender for you. I really want to um, try the tart shape tape because I've heard really good stuff about that so I'm going to put that on my next order. If I can, I did try to order it the other day actually but it was all sold out. I think it's really popular at the minute. Right, the thing where you're quite a warm, smoky eye again but with a bit of like pop of colour underneath it. So I'm just going to go in. Um, with the Anastasia Beverly Hills powders. Um, I've not got the powder for this because I've only just got them and I need to get a new palette when it's all full. But this is the Macchiato one, so I'm just going to pop that all over my brow bone first of all. It's quite light, but it's got a bit of quality. Got a bit of a warm brown caramel colour. It's all over with that. Really blend it up your brow bone. So, yeah, once all that's done, then I'm just going to go in with a darker shade. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty palette, which I got when I was in Abu Dhabi. I'm just going to use my um, it's Oliva 2, I think it's 2 to 8, I'm not sure, Lux Crease Brush. I'm just going to go in the socket line with that. I'm actually using this sandalwood colour. I'm just pull it underneath as well. And then I'm going to go in with Manito, which is the red one. And just push that into the into your socket. I really like this palette. I was a bit torn between the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills one and this one, but I am going to get the Anastasia one as well at some point. Colours are nice and pigmented. And it's got the glitter as well, I think that was what like pushed me more towards this one with the glitter in it. I'm going to go in my inner corner with that as well. It's looking nice and bright at the minute. I'm just going to take the uh, bay colour now, which is like a bit of a sort of yellow tone just to 
Belanda. Wow. And then I'm going to use a crown brush. I'm going to go in with henna. Build that colour up just on the corner. I'm just going to build that dark colour up in the corner. Just pull it in to the inner corners here. So let me know what festivals you're all going to this year and leave a comment what's good. I definitely want to go to the Radio 1 big weekend though, that looks like it's going to be and hopefully I get a chance to go there and put this festival look to some use. So just go back in with your blending brush and just go back in with your sandalwood and just blend out that outer corners. So that's, I think I'm going to stick with that red and I've decided that I'm going to go for um, maybe green underneath. So first of all, I'm just going to get my 217 brush and just go in with that light, um, is that yellowish colour dust? There, it's the moon dust on out of the Anastasia palette. Just to give it like a little spotlight eye. Again, just blend all around that. It's going to go in with a little bit more money to I think I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on there as well. I'm going to take a pencil brush and just go in with the man eater um, just underneath and drag it down. I'm going to go over again with the pop of colour later, but just for now, just to get that red. I'm always tempted to go darker with my eyes, but I want to try and keep it quite white and colourful. A little bit more of a red on just to. Deepen my eyelids a little bit. I think I'm gonna put a bit of a one of the glitter um, colours from the Huda Beauty palette. This one's blessed. It's like it's that dark gold. That onto my eyelid. I'm trying to just sort of keep it in the middle because I want to keep it more like a spotlight eye. So I'm going to go over with the red again, Manita, and just do my inner corner with that. So feel free to sort of let me know in the comments um, if there's any particular looks that you want to see or any products that you want me to try out, see what they're like. Did you go in out buying them first? Let's blend all that in. So I'm just using um, this is a W7 mascara. Just give it a light coat and again it's like if you look downwards and do it, it that stop you getting that imprint on your eyelid which you don't want it because you just put your eyeshadow on. Right, so these are just um, primer lashes that I'm 
people today. I'm so rubbish with names and numbers and brushes and stuff like that. I will try and get better at that because, again, I've got no clue what which lashes these are. I just know that they're from Eyelash. But they're sort of like a, a feathery, like, oh my gosh, smile on the inside and they go outwards on the corners. Just like quite feathery, not too dramatic, just a um, Pretty much the easiest way to do it. And just paint it. Don't forget to let your glue dry because it does make a difference. I didn't really used to wear them that much because they've got quite long lashes anyway. They don't look that long when I've got no mascara on, but as soon as I put mascara on, I'm quite deceiving. They're like dark at the root and then light on top. Just pinch there, just to press it against your lash. So you can't just wear this look. You don't even need to be going to a festival or anything to wear this. Like I'd just wear this going out somewhere. Might be a little bit too heavy for daytime, but if you like makeup, then what's stopping you? I'll make sure it's pressed into the corner. That's the main bit where you have like flip stuff on these stuff. Right there. Stand up on me that ready good. I'm just gonna use this eye makeup and see that was. I knew that before. Let's dab it. Put some more fire on. So I've decided my pop of colour is going to be green that I'm going for. So I'm just going to line underneath the eye with that. Oh my god, that is so green. I don't know if you can see that. It's like really green. I actually don't know how people let other people do that. I put water eyeliner on people's water lines all the time and I don't know how anyone lets someone else do that for. That's so nice. Just drag it. You can go quite low with this because you want the colour to really stand out. I'm going to go quite low. Well, it all looks like I'm going to I'm just going to take my Zoe the smudge brush and just put in. You could even. Take a bit of the brush from the pencil. I'm going to use the Real Techniques um, contour brush just to buff this in because I like the way it blends my foundation basically. Use whatever you feel best, works best for you. Everyone says to me, I don't know like why you have so many brushes and how you know which brushes to use. It's just all like trial and error and just use what you like to use. I swap and change my foundation brush all the time like sometimes I use um, like a, just a regular like foundation brush like a flat one um, and then blend it in um, with more of a sort of stickle 
blending brush. Sometimes I use a beauty blender to blend it in, sometimes I use this. It probably looks really pale at the minute, but I like to go a little bit lighter with my foundation and then bronze it up afterwards. And then I'm going to use my um, Radiant Cream and Concealer again, Chantilly, um, just for underneath my eyes. Do our cupid's bow, down our nose, and then this is my forehead. I'm just going to use a smaller brush now, um, just like a smaller buffing brush, just for underneath, right underneath my eyes, just to get right in there. So once all that's blended underneath your eyes, I'm just going to do a bit of contour thing. So I'm going to go ahead and use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick um, in shade Ibiza for my contouring. It's going to get a little bit on my brush from this. Uh, it smells so nice. And then just working from the top of my ear, I'm just bringing it. Second wash, just bring it down. Pan it. Just bring it up onto your forehead as well. I like to go all the way around. Just again, say on the other side, just working in the circle of motion, so just bringing it up onto your forehead. You just really want to do that. Up. Top of the cheek, just like underneath the cheekbone. I'm just gonna go down my nose with that as well. I want more of a sort of sun-kissed look rather than a fully contoured look. So I like to go like all over with this really. I'm just gonna make sure it's all blended in. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Anastasia from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit, powder contour kit, um, cinnamon. And I'm just gonna that just tap that just in that V where my ear and my cheekbone. I'm just going to take a big powder brush now and just rip it with that same and just lightly pull that product down you just want to keep your brush stroke quite light you don't want to pack the product on and just again just bring it up into your forehead and you go quite bronze with this look because it is for a festival and you're going to be in the sun and we're going to have fake tan on I've not got any on at the minute but I'm just going to go my jawline as well just to give me more of a defined jawline just bringing it down my neck I'm just going to go in with just a little bit of a darker shade as well uh, this is the, well a lot of it actually, it's the Caro. They've just got a, like a soft contour brush. Uh, I'm just going to get a little bit of product on my brush and just tap it off. Mm. And then just where that B is from your ear. So it's just got that little deeper shade just there. You don't want to bring that all the way down. Just bring it onto your forehead. I'm just gonna go back in. I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush from before and just sort of blend that around my forehead because you don't want that to look sort of patchy. 
went to my house just to start a dab, dab your brush. Now I'm just going to take my MAC 217 brush again. And then again with my Huda Beauty palette, I'm just going to use the shade header and just go underneath my waterline. I'm just pulling it slightly out into the corners. So coming out with that and right in and underneath your eye. With a bit of more of a festival look you can be so a bit more crazy with it and like pull it right out so you've got that definitive line. What I'm going to do next is just go in, I'm going to use like a bit of a sort of pinky tone highlighter because it is a bit of a more professional look so I don't want it to look just like an everyday makeup look. So I'm going to use, um, again from the Huda Beauty palette, I'm just going to use the shade Angelic. I'm just going to get my fan brush and just pop that onto my feet bones. It's a bit more sort of like a pinky gold. Oh no, it's like not your everyday highlight look. Right, so for my eyebrows, um, I like kind of like a sort of bigger, fuller, bushy looking eyebrow. So I'm just going to use my little spoolie and just sort of brush my eyes. Bushes up. I'm going to use my sleek brow palette, brow kit in medium. I'm just starting in the inner corner. I'm going to put it on this. There we go, there's my eyebrows on. And go around that and just shape them a little bit. So if you use the end of your if you do the line and just sort of like brush it upwards with that, so that gives you that little bit of an ombre effect look. Next, I'm just going to take my mascara. I'm going to go back in with that highlighter again that I used, well, that shadow that I used as a highlighter and just do my inner corners with that as well. I'm just going to use um, my Illa Masca Beyond Powder in, oh my god, I won't do. I'm just put a little bit more of that on there, just on my inner corners. a little bit more glitter onto my eyes, just used a um, Fix Plus type fixing spray to just wet my brush a little bit so it gives you a little bit more product on your brush and makes it a little bit more workable. But just makes using a Fix Plus spray or like just any sort of like fixing spray but if you put it on your brush and then dab it into the palette this gives the colour just a little bit more of a pigmentation. I'm just going to take a little buffing brush. I'm going to just use the um, OMG again for this bit. I don't want my nose pink, so I'm going to tap it. I'm just going to do a nude lip. I'm going to take um, just a L'Oreal. Um, lip liner. This is in shade Honey. And just draw it on. I'm going to actually fill my whole lip in with it. I don't really tend to overdraw my lips too much. Usually I just like to sort of defy my cupid's bow a little bit. It's a nice nude. Colour. Um, 
I'm also just going to go over the top um, just with a W7 Mega Matte Lips um, in shade 2 Bob. It's actually really nice and it just it feels really nice. It's, it's matte, so it's nice and soft. It's like, kind of like, like the soft cream ones that you can get from NYX, so I do love those ones as well. that's it. Like obviously you can add more stuff to this. I've seen a lot of people using like the white um white lines and um sort of tribal like little white accents like dots around their eyebrows and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and add that to it and that just make it look a little bit more festival -y. um but yeah. Right so um Tune in next time for another look. I don't know what I'll be doing yet, but we'll soon find out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.